Hi, I'm Candace. I'm a lover of mountains and meditation and have decided to minimize my life, buy a Sprinter van and convert it into a tiny home on wheels. Having a background in interior design, I'm going to give you my tips, views and experience on design and how to project manage your conversion whilst being a total novice at doing the actual build. Hi there, so I just want to show you a little side project about how to build what I guess I call bungee shelves. Yep. So my whole upper cabinet design is relying on these little bungee cord shelf fronts and I just want to show you how I do that. So this is a video on how to make bungee cord shelves. So this is my upper cabinet of what I've created. I'm a temp the template queen has created a bungee template. Yeah, that's a bungee template. Who knew there was such a thing? So what I basically am going to do is I'm going to place that against here and here, and then I'm going to mark. I don't mind using uh, sharpies for this because you drill through it. So I line my template bottom, bottom of the shelf, right, and then I'm literally just drill a hole and there's my drill holes that's as simple as that I do it on each side I then clean up the holes with a little circular metal file Okay, next, all I need is bungee cord, quarter inch bungee cord is what I'm using. And you can go crazy with the colors, but I just wanted to keep mine white and quarter inch washers. Okay, so this is what we do next. Start by tying one of the sides tight, really, really tight. Okay, so what I've decided to do in these back ones is I'm actually tying it twice. So just stretch it super, super, super crazy, crazy tight. Crazy, 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 crazy tight. <clears throat> and then do it again. So you've actually got two really tight knot. Then you cut it off, cut it off to length. These ones can be quite long because they're hidden. And then immediately cauterize it with a lighter of some description okay because this stuff unravels crazy quick cauterize it it also makes it less likely and less easy to unravel okay if it just goes light that's great and then we're going to estimate the amount and then I cut off the amount because I've got plenty of bungee and bungee full at the moment so it should go that way that across to there. A nice long tail so I can cut the other side. Now as soon as you cut it it's going to want to start fraying so you want to get to work. So what I'm going to do first is pop the washer in. What I'm going to do here is I'm putting it through the top first and then I put it through the other side. It's literally just a threading game at this point. And then I am going to have to hold it in place because I'm going to put it hard against this in a second. Get my other washer ready. Right. And then I'm going to thread it back through. It starts to get hard in the thread because it starts to fray. And then through the other side. Crazy easy. Right, so here's the tricky bit. If you've got a friend, get them to hold tension on this. I do have my neighbor who said he'd help me, but I've found that with these ones, I can do these on my own. I'll get him to help me with the high cabinets. So if you see what I've got here now, what you wanna do is just really tighten it. Just pull that way, pull this way, tighten against that. These need to be, you know, tight. <laughs> and you wanna make it tighter than you'll think you will, cause it's a bit hard to get this. And then we go and we start getting this <laughs> tightened, okay? <clears throat> Keep pulling against it as much as you can as you're tightening it in. 
because you're going to lose a little bit of that as you and then push it against there push it in push 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 super tight okay as I said on these back ones I'm doing it twice I decided to do it twice because these are hidden and if this breaks I'm a little bit it's going to be very hard to replace this if I screwed that up so it's not impossible <coughs> I was aware that I might need to tighten that up really 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 pull against it pull against it and then we cut it off to length Cauterize the end with a big lighter, nothing fancy. Let it smoke for a bit. It's probably literally the most toxic thing I do is that in my entire world <laughs> is light that up. All right, there we go. So that's the back. You won't see any of that. That's what you'll see in the back of the van. Okay, and that's what you see in the front here a tidy little loop. There's a few little patches of paint I'll, I'll paint around. But I'm super stoked about these. They're awesome. That's how you make a bungee shelf. And I just wanted to show you um, I also put uh, bungee shells on the inside and so you can just put them through your cabinets and then tie them off on the other side. Okay, same thing. Just the washer and then cauterize the ends. So same thing all the way through here. Yep, so I've got a detail that continues throughout and then of course I will go, that's the end and then I'm going to try to reach around the corner. So that's what they look like there. Yep, very cool. I'll take you out the back and this is the back bungee shelves in place. Yep, as long as you short saw me making and you can see it all the way down, nice little design detail that continues throughout using my bungee template.